wanted to say how cute is this t-shirt it says cycle here and it's yellow like oh my god this screams summer to me and i'm obsessed hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today in this video i will be talking about some overhyped makeup products that gained a lot of popularity on youtube be it instagram twitter everywhere the makeup community was bashed with these products and so I fell into the hype and I got few of these and yeah so we'll talk about that and I will discuss if they are worth the hype or they are not worth the hype and if I give this kind of emoji here then it is definitely worth the hype and if this then it's not worth the hype these products are definitely not going to be something that you haven't heard about these are going to be the products that you probably have seen all over the internet so yeah let's get started how can i not mention this palette in a overhyped makeup product like this is the palette of 2017 when morphe came up with this palette when morphe and jack actually jacqueline hill is a famous youtuber everyone knows her she has like six million followers on her youtube and i am truly like a fangirl of jacqueline and when they both collaborated with uh, like morphe and jacqueline collaborated on this palette everybody went crazy it was sold out within like few hours and then like the morphe site was something like crashed or something because of the people buying this palette like it was a huge success we have been seeing it ever since on instagram youtube everywhere and this surely is a great palette this is how the color scheme looks like i hope you can see this is a good palette if you are starting out in makeup i love this palette i do want to say that morphe is a brand which is totally overhyped on youtube you see beauty gurus talking about all the time about morphe brushes morphe palettes morphe eyeshadows everything so yeah definitely when they came out with this palette it was a big success the quality of these shadows are amazing the mattes are very pigmented and blendable the the variety you get in this palette is amazing you get all your delicious warm tone uh, shadows here and there you get your bronzy shadows your pinky like rose gold shadows and there you get some pops of color here and there is the normal brown transition shades and a pure matte black so this palette all in all is a really awesome palette if you are a beginner even if you are a, like a good makeup artist it's a really good palette for that this is good for beginners because you have a lot of choices like it can be a little intimidating as well because you don't know what shadows to go with but surely it's a way to expand your makeup collection to see your makeup skills to improve your makeup skills i started out with this palette and this shade here that's what's on my crease today like the yellow kind of mustard shade is uh, what's on my crease and the lid shade is uh, from a different palette that we'll talk about soon so yeah the i'll just swatch the shimmers here and one of the mattes like this matte okay so can you see the pigment is really really there i love this rose gold shade so much and it's a really good palette do i think it's worth the hype yes totally this palette is totally worth the hype you will get your money's worth this palette is actually a bit on the expensive side than the regular morphe palettes but it's totally worth spending every penny on and you get 35 eyeshadows 35 eyeshadows that you that is so pigmented so blendable and so easy to work with amazing so the next product i wanted to talk about is none other than the Anastasia Cloquet. If you have been seeing YouTube beauty videos for a long time, like for like around 3 years, 2 years, then you have clearly seen this palette. This is the Cloquet from Anastasia. As I've said, this is the sun dipped one. And they have like a really good variety. They have sun dip, they have moonlit, they have uh, the sugar glow kit which is new and they have like aurora glow kits they have like a huge variety of glow kits and this is this one is um my favorite at one point on youtube everybody was talking about anastasia glow kit like even now i see people using this and even now like i see beauty gurus talk about this but not as much as before of course 
the market is huge uh, the makeup community is growing and everybody is purchasing new items so it's not like a hyped up product now but back in the day when i was watching youtube everybody was talking about the glow kits now i want to say that i do have to say that this is an expensive like a really expensive highlighter palette it's like around the price tag of 40 dollars you get four highlighters that are amazing quality like around the price tag of 4000 rupees so it's like reasonable and you can pop this out as well like let me just show you you can pop this out and if you are a makeup artist or if you are traveling then you can uh, like put this on your C palette and you're good to go so it's really a convenient palette it's a cardboard packaging and you don't have a mirror here definitely the shade bronze summer tourmaline and uh, moonstone yeah, okay moonstone yeah so these are the shades so these are the swatches of the glow kit this uh, glow kit is i have to say that this is something you don't really have to go and buy right now there is a ton of beautiful highlighter palettes now in the market the colourpop nude and the palette it's amazing it's almost like the anastasia cloak it it's almost the quality is almost the same there are so many so many different types of highlighter palettes in the market that you don't necessarily have to get the glow kit but if you are willing to spend 4000 rupees on a highlighter then i would suggest go for this because this is going to give you an amazing glow i have moonstone on my inner corners and i have moonstone like as my highlighter this melts into your skin like this is if, when you apply this it's going to melt into your skin it's going to look like second skin and it's going to give you that glow from within like this is amazing this is an amazing highlighter palette but do you really need to have this in your collection i don't think so it's a good highlighter palette but you can easily find tubes of this nowadays totally but if you are actually willing to spend something on a good quality highlighter or if you are willing to spend 4000 rupees then i would definitely like to say that you won't be disappointed at all with the quality so the thing here is is it overhyped no i don't think so it's overhyped at the time this palette was released at the time anastasia came out with glow kits nothing was there like this in the market available at that point like now of course sure there are lots of highlighters there are amazing good quality highlighters at affordable prices but at that time there wasn't many and i see why it was popular i see why it is being like so overly hyped i still believe it's a good highlighter palette but you don't really need to have it so it's not overhyped it's just that there are so many like affordable dupes in the market that you don't necessarily need to have this so moving on we have a hyped up foundation and this is the wet n wild photo focus foundation i'm in the shade desert beige uh, this is not exactly my color it's a bit a tad bit lighter uh sorry not lighter a tad bit darker for my skin tone but anyways uh we'll talk about this foundation when it was first launched it was like uh everyone was going crazy the whole youtube was like testing it out five dollar foundation it was like for five dollars i think it's for rupees 500 on nika if you can get this on nika so yeah it was around the price tag of 500 uh i mean five dollars and everybody was going like five dollar foundation is it worth the hype is it not worth the hype and like people are testing this out it's like it says your photo focus so people are is this the new hd uh full definition like cover foundation <laughs> blah 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 like that. so yeah everyone was going crazy literally everyone was going crazy and i fell into the hype and got this and people were saying it was nice it looked good in pictures and i agree it looks really good in pictures it looks like you have really good skin like poreless skin and you have like a filter not exactly a filter on but it looks good it looks good so i don't know what to say about this foundation okay so the first thing is i don't like the smell of this it's not really good at all it smells like paint 
not paint but something like kind of plasticky kind of like a uh, chemical types and i don't like the smell of this at all the first thing is that i have to say i don't like the smell it's not really good the second thing is it feels a bit like foundation okay so when i say it feels a bit like foundation that means that you know when my regular foundations i'm using like i'm blending this out it doesn't feel like a foundation i do not like when a foundation feels like a foundation that sounds like insane but seriously like i don't like something sitting heavy on my skin tone i a skin tone i don't like something sitting heavy on my skin i don't like that feeling and when i'm looking now i like i have this foundation on and as i'm looking it looks good it looks like a decent foundation but it somehow like kind of makes my skin heavy like i get that feeling that i have a foundation on and it's not drying this foundation is good if you have dry skin because it's it doesn't dry out my skin or i don't know what is this about this foundation but i do not reach for it that often it's not bad don't get me wrong it's not bad it's a good foundation but uh, it's not my first preference foundation yeah that's that's what i mean to say it's not my first preference foundation and it's okay i mean it's 500 bucks you can get this you can test this out and you can see if this suits your skin or not but on me it looks good on camera it looks good in pictures it kind of looks good in person as well but i just don't like the feeling and that's it i mean i have other foundations in my collection which i prefer more and which i reach for more so i don't just reach for this that much so i mean for me this is um i do have to say this is not worth the hype like the hype it got at that point it's not worth it i do fell into it and i'm i don't regret buying it because it's not a bad foundation it doesn't break me out nothing like that it doesn't even look cakey on the skin it's just that i won't be repurchasing it again so yeah so now moving on we have lips category and for lips ta -da -da, we have some colourpop 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 ultra matte lipsticks these are the liquid lipsticks everybody on the internet everybody on youtube talking about this this was like five dollars back then i mean now i think so it's six dollars but back in the day i think it was five i'm not sure but everybody was talking about this and don't get me wrong don't confuse like these are the ultra matte lipsticks these aren't the ultra satin ones because colourpop has two uh, varieties now the ultra matte and the ultra satin ultra satin amazing i'm not talking about the ultra satin one because i'm talking about the colourpop ultra matte ones and when this launched let me tell you that colourpop was very new at that point like colourpop was just starting to grow and they came out with a five dollar liquid lipsticks and at that time makeup community the whole makeup community hasn't seen like a five dollar liquid lipsticks and liquid lipsticks were raging at that time i remember like everybody was putting on liquid lipsticks the anastasia liquid lipstick came onto trend and everybody like all high-end brands were releasing liquid lipsticks that's why they got so much of attention and the shades they released is was insane like they had variety of shades you are bound to get your perfect nude your perfect red your perfect pink your perfect violet like every shade you can imagine colourpop already had it so coming on to their quality <laughs> i don't want to say this because colourpop is my favorite brand but i don't like this those are drying they crack on my lips they form like a really like crusty rim on the inner parts of my lips and they they like form lines on my lips they look mad i have to give it that they look mad they stay on for hours but they crumble oh i have the shade bumble oh sorry bumble i had the shade love bug and i have the shade mama i mean you can make them work and if you aren't picky about liquid lipsticks like two drying liquid lipsticks you can definitely get these these are good but personally i do not reach for this that much so do i think these are overhyped I, I do think these are worth it. These are not worth the hype. I mean, 
when I when I first bought these I was expecting that oh my god like these are going to look phenomenal but I mean I did not like the feeling it gave on my lips I I love the shades amazing shades but I just don't think they are worth the hype the very last item of today's video is going to be modern renaissance this is my baby right here and it looks like I haven't used this that much I have used this but I don't like to use it also because I feel like I'll run out of it very soon if I use it often so I mean like I just don't use it that much so when this came out as I said it was something very revolutionary no brand had ever come out with these shadows like the pinks the reds the like yeah, oranges no brands and that time all everyone was talking about neutrals like kind of cool toned uh, eye looks and cool toned neutral looks is it like worth the hype <laughs> totally i mean i pull this baby out when i know i have to get ready quickly i have the shade love letter here this pinky shade all on my lids and blended it out it literally took me about two seconds like i pat this on and boom 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 that's it done your eyeshadows done these eyeshadows are pigmented just enough this these eyeshadows are amazingly bendable like you have to swipe your brush like twice and you're done you can use these four shades for a uh, literally natural look you can use these dark shades for really like kind of like a nighttime smoky eye look and you can use shades like this like the red love letter and real girl you can use this for some pops of color so i do think this is an amazing palette i know it's a bit on the higher side i think so it's uh 42 dollars but totally worth the money totally modern renaissance is something that has to be like a staple in everybody's collection if i ever run out of this palette i totally will get it like definitely repurchasing it 110 percent so that was everything for today's video i am super hungry i'm going to get myself some food and yeah if you like this video give this video a thumbs up if you like seeing something like this kind of videos very underrated makeup videos or overrated I will definitely do more in the future and lots of great content coming. I'm planning to do something outfit related videos as well. So if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. Now is the great time to subscribe. Subscribe, like this video. Um, see you all again in my next video. Bye. Very... <laughs> Eyeshadows are amazingly blendable. Can I talk today? And reality of putting a lip gloss. Okay. <laughs>